pleasing to note that in our great era of gimmicks, the American female leg still holds its place in the sun. The philosophers who worry about science blotting out the human pleasures of life lose sight of the fact that the more labor-saving inventions, the more time we shall have to dream and dally. And here is some of the push-button magic that science is hatching for tomorrow. Electronically controlled kitchen equipment. Ice cubes at the touch of your finger. Decide the recipe you want, put in the ingredients, and your oven will do the rest. And there's a new dishwasher coming. No water, no soap, no hands. You leave the dishes piled up and ultrasonic vibrations yet will clean them beautifully. Suppose Buster is looking at his favorite educational program. And then dinner interferes, heaven forbid. Dinner, Buster. Okay, Mom. All is not lost, because the magnetic tape will record it for him. Then after dinner, he can start it again just where he left off. You're away from home at a symphony concert or a spelling bee, and you've left all the windows open. Worry not, at the first gust of wind or rain, the windows will close by themselves. Honey child will need no babysitter. Television will reveal her every twitch and gurgle to her busy mother. Deepest night, but no more electric light switches to grope for. Just wave your hand, and the walls begin to glow. This one may be a mixed blessing. You'll never be able to get away from the telephone. It'll be right in your pocket. Hello, honey, where are you? A radio in your wristwatch. And now we take you to Pittsburgh for the first game of the World Series between the Pirates and the Orioles. You'll think twice before you answer your telephone, if you want to use your video attachment. And the guess who this is, Joker, will belong to the past. You'll dial anyone in America direct, as if he were the corner grocer. You'll have TV screens an inch thick on your wall. They'll show color pictures as big as you want in three dimensions. And so the atomic age was born, and a giant of limitless power was placed at man's command. Airplanes will extract nitrogen out of the air, send it raining over sterile fields, and the dying land of the farmer will be brought to life again. Our first flying men never dreamed of the speed of tomorrow's travel. Under electronic guidance, with all hazard of accident removed, our citizens will be able to fly from New York to Los Angeles and arrive an hour before they started, after they've reset their watches. The prevention of destruction, the defense against atomic attack, is another plus that science is working on. Here is part of our electronic reception committee for the uninvited guests. wonders already with us is the mechanical double dome, the electronic brain. This is the great know-it-all of the future. He, or it, 
is already able to add faster than the entire income tax bureau, translate languages, to tabulate, evaluate, dissertate, innovate, recreate, inoculate, precipitate, not as yet, procreate.